Citrus Strip Stripping Gel versus Easy Off Oven Cleaner. Hello, hello, my furniture refinishing friends. I am here today. We're gonna to compare three different ways to remove the finish, getting down to that beautiful wood. Product number one, my go-to sander. I always use an orbital sander. Not everybody loves them, but I love it, and it works great to strip off that finish. Product number two, my go-to stripper. I love this product. I know exactly how to use it, and it works well every time. Product number three, Easy Off Oven Cleaner. Is it worth the hype? This is all I hear about these days on the Facebook groups as well as here on YouTube, so I'm gonna test it myself. Now here's the kicker. I have three tables, a coffee table and two end tables with the exact same finish. They are a set and they're all three worn to bits. So let me give you some footage on how it looks now. So I'm outside today because I am stripping and sanding wood. I am prepping pieces to paint for the week. And I just had to show off, I can't strip wood without my beautiful stripping shirt. Yes, I have a stripping shirt. I will provide the link below. I have a bunch of products with this label on it and you can find that on my Etsy page. Let's get started with product number one, Sister Strip stripping gel man that is a mouthful to say always protect yourself with some gloves I like to close the stripper container and actually use a smaller container to distribute this do it nice and thick it is hot out today I am making sure that my stripping items with the chemicals are in the shade not the Sun and I'm making sure they don't dry out so what I did was I wrapped the table with saran wrap where I put the stripper and that will keep the moisture in allow the stripper to work longer without drying out in this heat and I also have it in the shade okay so whew, excuse me I'm no it's no makeup day because it's messy day okay sanding is a mess and having sweatiness makeup running in your eyes when you have a mask on is frustrating so it's no makeup day excuse that okay just had to say it all right next i'm going to put on the easy off oven cleaner i have the stripper working i usually let that sit after it's wrapped for about 45 minutes or so i will check it then it's hot out here and it's windy to boot so the oven cleaner is going to be interesting as it's a spray application so okay i'm gonna i'm gonna do it anyway but i do need to make sure it is out of the way and it's not going to overspray onto anything else as the breeze takes it back and forth so the question here is is the easy off oven cleaner worth the hype now i'm not so sure it has to be this brand you might be able to use generic but definitely make sure that you're not spraying into yourself and i always wore a mask to help protect myself from this too do an even coat of spray all around and then just let it sit like nobody said to cover it. Oh, can you tell it's hot? I'm getting red. <laughs> All right, so easy off is applied. They say to let it sit 20 to 40 minutes. So I'm gonna start that timer now. Next up with our contenders is the traditional method of sanding the finish off. This table had some pretty tough spots. So what I'm doing here is actually only sanding a quarter or a little more of a quarter of the table because the surface area equivalates to the same as the smaller tables and I wanted to compare time and I wanted to compare effort. Um, with the exact same surface area. So I'm focusing here on at least one quarter and I think I go over at one point and do part of the full half, but I'm working with a 80 grit sandpaper up to 120 and then 220 grit. So this process is definitely hands-on versus the stripper. And though it takes probably about the similar amount of time, it's definitely a lot more physical work, yet the strippers are more hands-off. So the thing about this is the detail of this edge will need to be stripped as well as the stripped pieces will need to be sanded with a 220 to finish it off. 
can you see this? Can you see all the sweat? This is why, this is why I don't wear makeup on prepping days. Ugh. Okay. Going back to the easy off oven cleaner table, this is already cracked and ready to go and the stripper looks like it's actually done its job too and my sanding job is nice and beautiful. Okay, so I let it sit a little long. I actually applied oven cleaner just to moisten up the surface. I am super hot out here because I've also been working on other pieces and sanding and things like that. So let's go ahead and see how this oven cleaner comes off on this surface. According to the internet gurus, all that cracking means it is done. So let's go ahead and start to scrape it off. I'm actually using just a regular scrubber from your standard household, as well as getting it a little bit more moistened with more oven cleaner, just to kind of reactivate it a little bit so it's easier to come off. Later, I add a bucket with water to go ahead and rinse it and try to really get that nastiness. And actually the finish is coming off what seems to be quite well at the time. I will have to admit, this is probably the messiest type uh, remover though. Honestly, between the water and the extra oven off and the fact that it's just splattering everywhere, it's quite messy and I was not happy with the fact I was wearing shorts and getting oven cleaner all over my skin. So first of all, it's been on there for a while. I've kept it moist by reapplying a little bit of oven cleaner now and then all over the surface. And now I'm gonna go rinse the table but I, with water, but I honestly don't think it is going to do the job. Um, I still see a lot of finish on there. And I know people have said that in the past, sometimes it just looks like it's not working and then they'll let it dry and it comes back and it's beautiful. So we'll see how that goes. So let's go rinse it. Okay, this is what it looks like what I swear the longer this video gets the worse I look this wind is atrocious and I am hot as you can tell I'm red yeah that's not sunburn I think that's just heat. I am drinking well, just so you know, taking some breaks for some water and going and cooling off inside. So I'm going to work on the taking off the cellophane next and put, we're going to take it all off and put it in a bag right away so it doesn't get all over the driveway or anywhere else and that way it's contained. So as I'm taking it off, I'm going to do it from one side to the other. You don't have to do it that way. It's just one thing I prefer. I don't want to get it all at once because it's a hot mess if you don't wad it up as it goes. So the outside, in. And it's still moist, which is what you want. You want the stripper not to be dried out. So that's the one wad of stripper mess contained. Okay, so I have both gloves on because I will be constantly touching this as I go. I have a water bucket and some water. Oh, I can't get low enough. I have some water. I have a water bucket and some water. Um, I've cleaned all my supplies extremely well because I don't want to mix any chemicals from any of the other strippers. So let's get to stripping. Usually I'd go ahead and just start scraping this with a plastic putty knife. But today the heat was so bad after the time I got my video done of discussing what I was doing, I needed to rehydrate it again. So I just used some water and then my plastic putty knife so that I don't mar the surface with a metal one. After removing all that gel with the plastic putty knife, I then go ahead and go get the mineral spirits with low odor and I wipe it down really well to get all the excess off. Okay, so I've just cleaned this with low odor mineral spirits. I've gotten underneath multiple times all around the edges. I use a little bit of water. I do think there's a couple of small spots that the finish didn't come off, but it's quite thin. I'm gonna go rinse this with a little soapy water and then some regular water, and, uh, and then we'll let it dry, and then we'll compare the three um, 
options of how to remove finish sanding, oven cleaner, or wood stripper. So I've just rinsed this with soap and water. We're gonna let it dry, and by the magic of television, you'll see it finished. Okay, so I'm back for day two on the oven cleaner. I ran out of time due to weather, and today I'm probably gonna run into some weather as well. Hopefully I have time to get this uh, second coat on and let it set and be able to get it off. And then um, we'll see if it needs a third coat. I don't know, i have uh, not too optimistic here. <laughs> Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes. Um, let me go ahead and give you a quick view of this now that, up close, now that it is um, been setting for a while. And I don't know if I'm gonna respray it to moisten it this time. Somebody suggested that works, but last time it really didn't, I don't think it really helped, it just made it more messy. So I'm gonna see how messy this is trying to take it off after it's been sitting there without a respray. Um, but it looks like it did some more work, so let's check it out. So I had to step out of the wind really quick, and the audio is probably changing because it's echoing on my porch, but I want to give um, thumbs up and thank you to the Furniture Refinishing Teacher. I rewatched her video. And um, I'm hoping that her lessons in her piece are able to help me finish this one. I do know it took her two or three times as well to get her um, finish done, but the first time she didn't leave it on very long and I did. So let's see if the second time actually works for me. So let's get this scrubbed off and see how well it looks. One thing that I kind of took away from re-watching a few of the videos that I had taken the easy off idea from was that scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing is key. It actually works better the longer you scrub, which is kind of not the point of stripper in my opinion, but it's supposed to do the work on its own, right? Anyway, so here I am scrubbing with two different types of scrub brushes and then again cleaning it off as well. Okay, so while I'm rinsing it off, I want to show you something that I'm noticing. Um, let me see if I can get it in the camera. So see, this is an area of finish that did not come off in my initial scrubbing. I got it wet. I can actually feel the varnish still on it. But because it's still fresh, if I just apply a little bit more pressure, it actually is coming off. So if you pay attention and actually do more scrubbing, this might actually finish up with the second coat. I've got some pieces from sections all around the table that are like this. So I'm just giving it, in the direction of the wood grain, giving it some more on um, the scraping. And I'm noticing when you do that, it'll start turning brown. So the finish is still coming off. So I just wanted to get all around the shape. Okay, I'm actually really satisfied with the way it came out this time now that it's all dry. And I found that the harder you scrub, um, you actually can get a lot of that off. There are still some really like finer parts here that still have stain on them um, but there's not very many and this probably could be hand sanded and it'll come right off so I'm gonna call this done after two coats of um, oven cleaner I do feel that the second coat was 100% needed um, I don't feel like it, even if I scrubbed harder the first time that 
it all would have came off. There was just so much left over after the first application. So for two applications, it came out very clean the second time. Like I said, just a few minor issues. But I also have a few minor issues on the citrus strip one. So, however, that one only took one time. So there's that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go over the financials and the scoring. For the Easy Off Oven Cleaner, the cost was $6.78 a can. I used most of the can. It took two applications and it two hours, 45 minutes hands on to scrub it off. So I um, definitely think that this is the most costly because there's not much in a can left and I don't have enough to do another piece. Second up is the citrus strip and it only cost me about a dollar eighty of the citrus strip jug and it only took one application, about 20 minutes hands-on, one hour full time while you're waiting for the piece. So I work on multiple pieces at a time when I'm prepping so I can just go work on another piece while the that one's waiting for the stripper to work. So there's the two side by side, and some have issues on the edge, some have issues in the middle. Now for sanding, the cost was only $1.20 because I only used three different discs, 80, 120, and 220. It took me 45 or 40 minutes hands-on work to get that a much cleared off. Again, I was doing this section only because I wanted the surface area to be equivalent to what I was actually doing on the other tables as well so I could time compare. Okay, everyone, so cost efficiency wise, I think the oven cleaner, thumbs down. Um, stripper is about even cost efficiency with sanding, at least here in the States it is. And um, so thumbs up on both of those. I would probably say they're close to a tie. They're only 40 cents off and neither of them are over $2 for this project size. As far as time efficiency, the oven off oven cleaner with two coats having to wait a total of two hours to finish the project top as well as 40 minutes on the piece when stripper is supposed to work without you having to work it so oven cleaner down also now a citrus strip stripper only about for time wise, I think it's actually the best. You can set it and forget it while you go work on other pieces. I like to bulk prep my pieces. So I'll have usually four to five pieces one day outside, super hot, super nasty, super dirty, and I'm done for the month. So in bulk prepping situations, I feel that the stripper actually is quite nice because I get to set it, forget it while I go to a different piece and work on that. So citrus strip, thumbs up. Now, as far as sanding goes, um, I would have to say it definitely 40 minutes hands on. I would say it's a middle. I'm, I like the way sanding turns out a lot. So I'm kind of a traditionalist that way, I guess. So I would give it a middle grade. I'm not going to give it up or down because it's still pretty effective for the time spent. As far as mess goes, oven cleaner was so drippy and so nasty and just gross. I'm going to, and chemically horrible for yourself, by the way. So big no, no on that one. Citrus strip stripper. As far as mess goes, I think it's definitely messy, but it's only for 20 minutes. And I think that all of them are messy to a point. I think that one is the most containable. So I'm going to go ahead and get it a thumbs up as far as mess goes, because it's containable. You can control it a lot better in gel form. As far as sanding mess. Sanding gets everywhere. I need a mask, I need eye goggles. It's a hot mess and it's hot outside. You're sticky, you're sweaty. I'm gonna give sanding a thumbs down even though I do truly love the techniques and um, because it really is just a hot mess when you're done with it and you're covered in it and it's just gross. So none of them are going to be super amazing on the mess scale, but I think Citrus Strip is the best bet for that. Thank you for watching me today, you guys. This is Grace with Uniquely Grace Designs and the Furniture Refinishing Academy. You can join my Furniture Refinishing Academy group on Facebook. The link will be below in the description and I look forward to seeing you guys soon within that group and again here on YouTube. So make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment below if you have any suggestions on what I can do next to help you out. I'll talk to you later. Remember, you got this and I've got you. Let's do it together. Ciao.